welcome to my channel this is Amy today I'm going to show you a very simple round brush flower using 2a magic round brushes a 12 and a 14 and then I'm going to be using a flat brush it would be a number 12 and a number 8 deer foot stippler along with a dotting stylus I will link all of these products down below you're welcome to purchase through my affiliate links and the paint that I'm using is all folk art paint. I'm using licorice. And I do combine the multi-surface and the enamels, tea berry, titanium white, metallic silver, and white pearl. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to begin by filling my number, let's see here, it should be the largest of the two, the number 14, fill it really good with the uh, paint, the tea berry, and then I can go ahead and stick it in, just the tip of it into the, the pearl white. Now, when you're making a, I guess, this style of flower, I mean, you can call it a daisy or whatever. You can do, but do, start it by doing like the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. And if you feel like it's getting too transparent, go back over it because you want it to be opaque. You want the paint to be on really thick so that that creates more durability for your design. And you just keep pulling it towards the center. Again, if you feel like, like this one is not opaque enough, just go back over it. And then you can go around it and fill in. All right. So just keep loading your brush the same way as you need to add more uh, colors or more paint, I should say not colors, but more paint to it. You can overlap your design or you can keep it separated. That's really up to you. You don't have to create it this way. As far as the 12, 3, six and nine. You can just start and just go around and create it as you go, going around a circle, basically. All right, so I am open, overlapping these, as you can see. With the intent, I am gonna put another row of petals in on top of these. When I created my design on paper, I actually had more flowers than what I'm going to put on this. But that's something that, you know, if you're going to do your design work beforehand, just adjust it accordingly as you create your, you know, your design on your product. One thing about this white that I'm using, this pearl white, it's kind of a me metallic. It gives a, a shimmer to it, which is which is really pretty. I like it. Now you get to this stage. If you decide that you want to go over any of your petals again, you might want to hit it with the hair dryer heat gun. Give it an hour driving time, drying time, uh, but however you want to to proceed. Uh, but this though, I think it's, it's fine. So I'm not going to do that. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is actually fill this brush with the pearl white and I'm going to tip it into the white. Then I'm going to go over my design and go in between. Now this is using the smaller brush. You could, you know, rinse out your brush and proceed with the same size if you want, 
but I chose to do the smaller. That's just my preference and with doing the video, I thought that I would uh, cut down time so I didn't have to stop and wash it out. If it picks up color from underneath, that's perfect. If it doesn't, that's fine too. All right, and I apologize, I am left-handed, so you're gonna find my hand in the way sometimes. That's just happens. If you feel that when you're creating something that I'm doing, it doesn't feel natural with the direction I'm going, you need to switch it so that it's going the direction that you feel comfortable with, meaning if I'm going left to right, you might need to go right to left and creating petals or leaves, that type of thing. Oops. If you're a new person to my channel, please know that I do create easy designs. I am trying to encourage people to be creative and not be afraid to be creative. Pick up a paintbrush, it helps with stress. And that is, besides you maybe finding a new hobby or a great way to add to your home decor, maybe even a fun thing to do with your friends, just pick up a paintbrush and have at it. All right, so here we have it. The next thing I'm going to do is to add my centers. I'm not going to hit this with any uh, drying time. You can, I may end up picking up some of the color from underneath, but I'm gonna be doing black. So I'm just tapping this into the black. I'm not even going to do a, normally when I use this brush, I will tap off some of the excess paint. I'm not even gonna do that. I'm gonna come right in here and tap in my center. I am trying to make it just as round as I can. It doesn't have to be round though. Very simple, simple, simple. And it's fine if it pulls in some color from underneath. Perfectly fine. So just easy, easy center. I will be adding a little bit to it here in a minute. Okay, very simple. If you have a scruffy brush or even just a regular brush you can tap in the centers or you can use your scruffy and do do it with that either way is fine all right so for the the flowers that i'm going to do are mainly going to be like a or not flowers i'm sorry the leaves i'm going to do are more like just adding some spray some filler filler leaves and i am mixing it with the titanium white with the metallic silver. Anytime you are finding that your design is too, too transparent, adding white can help with that. Adding white to your, your mixture of paint. And I'm just pulling these I can make them short, long, however, however I want to go with them. And then what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to just pull this over very simply. And just keep pulling towards the center or towards the stem, I should say. I'm considering not the center. Now these, as you're doing it, if you feel like they're not opaque enough, you know, feel free to go back over them once you're done. But you're just tapping and pulling and you're on the chisel edge of the brush. Now, 
And notice too, depending on the amount of pressure you put on your brush, that's what will determine the style of the petal that you're painting. And again, if I want, I can go back in and add. I can go back over it. If I feel like it's too, too thin, I can go back over the stem, which I don't typically tend to do a lot of that. So what I'm going to do down here is kind of, because I'm going to have more than just one set of these. So I'm going to just do the opposite. Whoops, shoot, hit my camera. Sorry about that. So we'll just come in here, add another one. Try to fix it. And just keep going. It's the only thing bad about these long stem brushes. Have a tendency to hit things with them. While you're painting but you can fix it just keep going and yeah I can always come back if I don't like it and like I said you can turn your brush too if you want more of the white showing that can give it some you know variances depending on which way you lead with your brush make it fuller there you go i see some silver on here so i don't know if i touched something on here or not but anytime you're painting and you feel like you've got too much paint in your paintbrush just wipe it off with a paper towel pretty easy all right so now i'm going to go like this and just come down back over this one a little bit pulled up some of the color from underneath which actually gives it a pretty a very pretty kind of accent and notice on this one I'm pulling away from the stem not towards it now I can take my brush and on this I try to do just very lightly pull in some little little stems into the leaves. Sometimes I don't get them as thin as I want them, but they worked out okay this time. All right, so here we go again. And I like when I pull up some of the underneath color. That's fine. If you don't, then I would suggest giving it some dry time and then go back over it at that point. You know, a lot of times I just, it just depends on what I'm actually creating, if I like it or not. And you can actually, you know, bring these out some when you're doing it just to make them a little more whimsical. But for the purpose of this one, I'm not actually doing that. I'm going to keep them just strictly into the, the leaf itself. See, and with this combination, if I just had used just the silver, it would not have been as opaque, but adding the white to it has helped make it a little bit thicker. White is really good for that. That's why I mentioned, because I know some people have a hard time with getting the paint to be as opaque as they want it to be, and that helps. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is just put my little stylus into the paint and I'm doing this just with a titanium white and I think you know little dots it can add so much to a design they can actually you know make it stand out give it a little more character If you don't like dots though, you can just leave it, leave it be, or maybe even add, I think I just hit my 
bottle on the other side. It's the only thing bad about doing bottle painting. And I do have a tool I could use and I need to start using it, but I have a tendency to hit my other side or what I've worked on onto the paper. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here is just going in between the dots that I just made. Just being really, very sporadic. I don't want them to look like they're lined up a certain way because I don't have to be. Just want them very random feeling. But just like how it makes the center pop just by adding these white dots. And you could, you know, use a different color. You could use a contrasting color. That's fun too. We're almost done. I appreciate you sticking with me through this video. I hope I inspire you to give this a try. Just such a great way to keep something out of the trash. You know what you think? I think it's awesome. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Very simple. If you can hold a paintbrush, you can do this design. And I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, please share this on...